All right, folks, so we're at Starcase. I'm gonna show you how to make this three-piece panel and install it. This covered up the metal plate that you saw before in a couple other videos. We're gonna do some drywall down uh, the staircase, do some trim work, hide all this stuff. But I think this looks really good other than a plate of steel just sitting there and covering up with drywall. Um, so we'll show you how to make all this starting right now. All right, folks, what we're gonna to do today is run that three-section panel we're thinking about on the, uh, the staircase. So I'm just preparing the, the boards for chip out. I'm just gonna put a piece of tape behind them. Usually I use scrap wood. We're gonna try this. Let's see how this works out. I do got some extra material on the edges. So that way there, if I do make a mistake, it's not a big deal, but we're just testing this out better than using scrap pieces. It gets a little expensive, so I can use scrap for other things. So with a three section panel, we're gonna have uh, six styes for the sides in the middle. Um, actually a total of four, I should say four. And we have a top and bottom. Uh, we don't have the panels we're making today, we're just making the sides and the tops and the bottom. We do have our shaper preloaded with the bit that we're going to use. See so if you can see that. So this is a Freud, I believe, something like that uh, bit. So that's pretty nice. So this is going to create your your groove, right? And these are just going to straighten out the edge of the wood. So you're going to have a groove in here. And then these blades right here will just straighten this edge. Get rid of all this choppiness that we have here. So let's go ahead and run it. Okay, folks, we're back from the, making the tongue. Uh, so what we're going to do is this is just like a jigsaw puzzle. We put the top and the bottom together, and we make sure that I have everything laid out as far as what's the top, because there is a little bit of a difference in this groove right here. Right, this top is thicker than the bottom, so we want to make sure we line everything. This is a little piece because it's grooved on both sides. So this would go in here. Approximately, this one there. Actually, this one is in. If you see me hesitate there, this one is an end. And then the groove is on both sides. This one's this one, the middle one. And I'm not going to get it perfectly straight right now. The only thing you want to see is everything fits theoretically. I'm not going to do a lot of pounding or anything. And I kind of want to see how it looks symmetrically. But this is approximately what it's going to look like. We'll have panels, three panels. So that looks pretty good. I do like that. So now I have to get some panels, so it would be nice if I had a tape measure. All right, folks, so we're back. So what I did is I used a Wayne County program. You can get it online, it's all free. It's just Wayne Scotting, Wayne Scotting calculator. And what you do is you enter the length of your piece, you enter the style, width, and how many panels you want. In this case, I wanted three panels, so I'll tell you the dimension of the panel, but you have to be careful about that because you have to add another inch, half inch, all the way around, right? So you add an inch uh, width, an inch tall, and then you'll get the piece that you need because you need that tongue to connect in here. They're only measuring the distance within the gap. 
But what's cool about these measurements is that you start from zero. There's where your, your style goes for your first one. There's where your style goes for your second one. And obviously the end style. And what's cool is you've got style locations for right here, here. So they got the beginning right there, the end, the beginning, the end. So it's pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and lay those out. styles. The old screw to do is you measure from angle to angle. 36 and 3 eighths. 36 and 3 eighths, so that's the square. Alright, now just make sure my styles are nice and straight. Which they are. And let's see how accurate this computer was pretty good I got seven seven eights eight so there you go and eleven or seven and eleven six seven and fifteen sixteenths seven and fifteen sixteenths right there start. All right, so now it's time to select the wood for the panel. As you see, we have three panels that are required. And here's a piece of wood. I don't know if you can see that, but there's these rings. It would be nice if it was more centered, but I don't really like this for panels. So I got a second piece. And this one I really like. It's got a little bit of waviness to it. It's symmetrical. It looks nice. And it'll probably go this way vertically, right? That's that's a lot better looking piece than this one, I think. So that's just me, you know, personal preference, but I definitely like this one and I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, we're back in Shaper and we have the tongue here now. There's one board which I had a little bit of tear out, which I'm not happy with, so I just, Put a little bit of glue, squeeze the corner, that will hold the fibers good until tomorrow. And then I'll, I'll dress that up a little bit. But other than that, it came out really good. Uh, we're gonna go to the table saw next, like I promised, to cut out the profile even further. Because right now, if you look at it, it's in, right? But you'll just have one flat piece all the way across. We want something like the door. So you can see the door in the camera, which you can. We're gonna take the table saw and cut out 
this section so it will look just like this. Oh. So this is a trick an old timer taught me back in North Carolina. Um, so basically you insert this thing in here and you do a couple passes uh, to get material off. On the first uh, run, maybe a couple runs, you're not gonna see a big difference because it's gonna be cutting behind this face here. Uh, this is kind of dangerous. That's why I put this piece of mahogany in here to, uh, to ensure that it kind of have a little bit of support. I'm gonna hold it tight against this as I slide it. Um, and hope for the best that it doesn't fly off. Cause there's a decent amount of meat, but if it does fly off and let go of it and let it go wherever it wants to go. Um, dangerous, but it does have a nice look to it when we're done. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's turn on the air filtration system. All right, so this looks pretty good. What I'll have to do now is just sand it. Just get rid of some of the, and round over that edge a little bit. Like so. That looks a lot better. We got room for our trim. This I'm not worried about because this is just gonna sit right in uh, the thing. So we're good. Looking good. All right, folks, so what we're gonna to do today is glue together this three-piece panel, and this is gonna cover the steel plate and the staircase. Um, so what I like to do is just grab like a cover to some kind of jar or something like that, and we're gonna put some glue in there. I'm trying to make a big mess of the whole thing. So a little bit of glue. And then I got a plumber's like uh, solder paste brush. So what I'm gonna do is just take this apart. And then so I'm gonna glue all the tongues to these pieces, realizing that they have tops. Everything's marked with a top, so I don't get it confused. And then what I'm gonna do is just put some glue on each of these tongues Trying to make a big mess, like I said, and just put it in there liberally, uh, and then put it in place. I'm not going to worry about getting any of the glue that does pop up. We're just sand it off after it dries.
All right, and then we're gonna put our panels in, but we don't glue the panels because we're gonna allow for those to move for seasonal changes and things of that nature. So I'm gonna to have to get a hammer. see what we're going for. I'll put the other panel in. Looking good so far. The last panel. So that looks pretty good. Everything looks like it's lining up. So now what we're going to do is put the glue on these style tongues. And like I said before, you don't want anything on the panel because you want those to move. All right, make sure I got the top here. Things lined up. This is the tough part because you're putting everything in. And we have to slide it over. Okay, so I noticed the camera slipped a little bit when we're hammering down. That happens. The uh, work is trying to get this stuff done rather than the camera work. So uh, I've got to get an apartment done. But this came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, you notice we did have tightened it up a little bit. So we're going to have to cut a little bit off the end here. Not a big deal. That does happen. But uh, what we want to do now is just make sure that we're square on this end. which we are, which is great. You notice there is some glue here. I'm not gonna touch that because um, if I do, it's probably gonna make things worse. Um, wait till it after it dries and then I'll go ahead and clean it off. But now we're gonna clamp everything in place. Make everything nice and tight. And 
let's go down the line. Make sure everything is snug. All right. So everything looks pretty good. All right, folks, let's remove these clamps. Alright, so everything went really well, glued up nice. So now we're going to put some trim around this, and it'll help hide some of the gaps here, right, which are by design. So let's see what we got for trim. We got this piece of wood. Oh, that might not look good, so let's, um, alright, so let's pick out another piece, or better yet, let's make something. That's what we're going to do. All right. So we have everything set up. Here's our board, and we're just going to run it in this molder to make our trim. All right, so let's get started on putting this trim piece in here. Um, everything works out 90 degrees each corner, so that's good. Verify it with a machine square. Everything looks really good. So now it's just the fact of now just uh, cutting the 45s and measuring everything. So we'll cut our first 45, we're gonna get rid of the last inch or so. Inch or so because you can see it kind of warps at the end there because of the molder. So that's known. So now what we're going to do is we'll cut the long piece first because we make a mistake and we can just uh, use it for the bottom. So that's nine and five eighths. Let's go up to nine and five eighths and let's put a mark. I wish I had another bench for this thing. Maybe I'll slide it to the side like this. That kind of should stay. So now we're going to do the 45 opposing. Perfect right there. 
All right, so let's finish up this three panel assembly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark these things that we cut out yesterday because what I wanna do is I wanna sand this, get rid of all this glue right here and so forth. So we just want to mark this so we put this back in the correct order. And so it's not like a jigsaw puzzle, I'm trying to figure it out. Just a little bit of time doing this, but it's well worth the time spent. All right, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So then this is going to be panel one, panel two, panel three. Let's just take these out. And what helps is you just keep them stacked like this. So to get the rough glue off, what you do is just use a chisel. So don't waste a lot of time sanding. Okay, so we're going to go with 80 first. So now we want to cut the edge off because you can see that this edge right here is sticking out a little bit. So now we just want to cut this at a 90. Make sure everything's square. Taking the least amount off that we can. So now we're going to take our trusty saw. A little of this is the top, so what we're going to do is see how it's orientated like that. So we're going to sand this side and this side, that's it. So let's round this, this end over, and just a little bit. Alright, so let's put these in position where they go. I just want to put a couple 
dabs of glue. So we're going to nail it. And the dabs of glue help produce like vibration mainly. So what we're going to do is we're going to use pin nails that we don't have to sand and cover. Oops, got some of my finger, which I don't want to get all over the place, so that will affect the stain. All right, so now let's remove the tape. Here we just finish up pen nailing these. All right, folks, what I wanted to show you the difference between somebody who cares about what they're doing and somebody who doesn't. So if you see this gap right here, gap right here against this straight edge, basically that's a contour of the ceiling. So this allows the gap to be very minimal on the ceiling. You'll hardly notice it uh, versus throwing it up and having this much gap in the middle and people being able to see that. So you always want to test fit things first before you go ahead and install them and make sure that they do fit and they do fit the contour. And what I'm going to do now is just sand out this um, pencil line before I throw it up. It's going to be a lot easier to sand it out now. And while it's installed, I did get a little bit of drywall there, but we'll let, go ahead and let that dry. We'll just wipe it off so it's not as bad. All right, so I'm gonna put this to the side for right now. All right, so the light's not that good here. I'm gonna spray this with some alcohol. Clean it up really nice, get some of the, rid of that drywall dust and some of the drywall mud on there. Make it look really good. See how much grease and stuff we removed from there. So this helps the glue stick. And the glue is not structural by any means, but what it does do is when people are going up and down the stairs, it'll prevent it from rattling, right? The screws ever get a little bit loose. So now what I'm gonna do is hang this up. All right, we'll get some glue up here. Not too much. Enough. Maybe too much is enough. Okay. All right, so I have to throw this thing up there with some brute force because I can't put it up there with a clamp because the metal is up there too high. So I just put a two by four with a brace on there. So I won't be able to pre-drill or anything like that. So it's nice and snug. 
Now the hard part is I have to hold it and put it in the hole at the same time. So that's good enough for the first drill. So now I can do the rest of them properly. All right, let's go give it one more look-see. Everything's tight against the wall, tight against the ceiling, everything looks good. We're gonna move our support. All right, folks, so there you go. I think this is a successful install. Take that piece of tape off that identified the top. But we've got everything looking really good. Uh, like I said, we're going to put some drywall up here, put some trim work up here to match this, hide the plate of steel that's here on the side. But overall, I think it's pretty good. Let's just do a little walk around. All right, so there you have it. Like I said, for right here, we'll put a piece of trim up here to hide this. We have room to put our trim on the bottom after our drywall. We have a little bit of drywall on there. But when you finish the drywall, it's going to bring it to 5 8 then another piece of trim. So it should consume all that. So it's looking pretty good. All right, folks, so there you have it. A three-piece panel installed. Uh, looks a lot better. We're getting there. Staircase almost done. Um, you know, thanks for checking out the videos. We do appreciate you stopping by. If you like it, subscribe. If not, thanks again for stopping by. Take care now.